I can't believe my wife's talking on the phone that manages to come up through the floor and onto the mic. I don't get it. Take four. Take four in three, two, one. Hey there, I'm Mike Dixon. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. Uh, just uh, you're new here, stopping by, checking out my car vlog. Thank you very much. Consider subscribing. Uh, returning uh, members, I, I'll call you members. Yeah, you know, subscribers, members, member of the family that's been around, sticking around with me since probably about 2015. Now, uh, thank you, thank you immensely. And, and uh, consider hitting that uh, notification bell. So every time I drop a video, a car vlog, or a car vlog that's in the studio, you'll get notified. We're going to cover my other favorite favorite subject is uh, RCS. <laughs> yeah, RCS. And uh, it, it made the news again. Surprise, it made the news again. Um, you know, this this is becoming a, a horse and pony show onto itself. Let me let me just say that. Uh, so I sit down, get my coffee, doom scroll through Twitter, and check out some of my news feeds, uh, Google News mostly. And one of the things that really hit me, I said, here's the topic for today's car vlog. Uh, Google uses Drake's text go green to pressure I, uh, pressure Apple to adopt RCS on iPhone. That's how the uh, article reads. Uh, please, always check down below. This is going to be in there. Uh, the tweet is going to be down in there as as, as I will talk more about this. So, uh, yeah, I was greeted with this uh, this morning, this morning news, uh, and it's appearing that Drake dropped a new uh, album and everybody was uh, not ready for it. And apparently uh, the... Number three uh, single, I guess we can call it, that is out and about, is uh, it's referring to uh, Texco Green. His text messages uh, on his iPhone are going green in the story. And it basically refers to uh, one of the things is that when a user on an iPhone blocks another user that uses an iPhone, uh, their text go green. Uh, let me read you pretty much how the... Audio portion, I'm not going to sound like uh, this person in the, again, hit the tweet down below the link for it. The Android team thinks that Drake's new song, Tex Go Green, is a real banger. It refers to the phenomenon when an iPhone user gets blocked or tries to text someone who doesn't have an iPhone. Either way, it's pretty rough. If only some super talented engineer team at Apple would fix this. Because this is a problem only Apple can fix, they just have to adopt RCS, actually. It would make texting more secure. Just saying. Great track, though. Here we are again. Here we are using social, uh, social media to pressure another company into adopting a particular, what they feel to be a standard. This all started, like, to me, it really took off in January when Hiroshi... Lockheimer, if I'm pronouncing his name, and Hiroshi, if you ever see this video, sorry if I butchered your first name. I got the Lockheimer part right. In, in the early part of the year, he was really going to town because apparently there was a story in in a major publication, and he was, I guess, also part, I'm not sure he was ever interviewing him, or he was part of the story talking about the social implications where somebody has an, has an Android phone for the most part, uh, their texts come to an iPhone and they're green. And that kind of gives people this thing of, ew, you know, you're, you're lesser, lesser human almost. Uh, and we, you know, this conversation has been kicked around so many times about this social implications of having an, uh, having an iPhone versus an, an Android. And mind you, let me just also preface this. All this is here in the United States, at least in North America. I don't know about you boys in Canada. I don't know about you guys in, down south in Mexico. But I know here in the United States. And I've seen it. I've seen it personally with my granddaughter. Okay. She had to get rid of her Android phone and get a uh, an iPhone to be socially accepted in her school. She's just graduating eighth grade. I know that on, on that fact. And Horatio was basically really, really, really hammering on Apple 
the documents just came out. Uh, maybe that was a part of the story, though, too. This is back when the documents over something in Europe where there was a trial. And one of the things was basically in this in this paperwork that, you know, they had to come out to the public. Apple knew that, you know, by locking up I, you know, iMessage, they're, they're, they're getting something. And, and that's a feature that they felt that they could not share with the rest of the world just it just when this stuff happens social media loses its mind <laughs> in plain english uh, then then there was again in the uh google io there was talk about that uh there was you know you know a comment was was made in there and now we have this here from android here we got ryan reynolds i'm looking in here oh my god i've learned so much now if that's not a snarky comment that's how i'm taking it and I'm, you know, ain't hurting my feels. I'm just saying, dude, you're, you're just being a little asshole here, okay? So, you know, I'm just telling it like it is. But that's Ryan for you, you know? That's that, that's his, that's his way he is. You know? So, even Ryan Reynolds, who big actor, gets involved. One of my biggest beefs. Probably it is number one. They don't have RCS right. <laughs> it just don't work. It don't work right all the time. At least in my experience, I don't know about the rest of the world, and I know there have been stories pertaining to, to the, this issue I'm talking about, where you send a message on RCS to another person who has RCS, and they don't get the message. They don't get the message because there's some flaw somewhere. You, you watch it, it says sent, and they would say deliver. Well, it doesn't say it. And then you might even, I've got to be conditioned to wait for that sent and deliver part to come come to on my screen if i see it and it says sent and it's been more than like 15 seconds 20 seconds i tap on it and you can see the little thing spooling and there's the option to hit sms uh sms slash mms message i have to hit that just to get the message apart, uh, there and there have been so many other times when it doesn't go all the way through repeatedly i have to keep on hitting that I got, then got to go into into the app, go into the information on the app, clear storage, clear cache, go back in, reload my phone number sometimes, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't have to, and then get it's like getting RCS to work like the first time you put it on the phone. It shouldn't be that way. Now, I carry both. I have my iPhone SE Generation 2. And I sent plenty of iMessages to various friends, family, and customers. And never, ever, ever, ever got the, I never got it. I never got the warning that your message wasn't sent. There was a problem. Android and Google, you need to get it to be flawless. Then you can go and do this horse and pony show that you're doing here. You really do. You really do. You look like an ass, okay? There is a known problem with RCS, and nobody's talking about it. They talk about it and telling you that you can switch it. You can go and send it by telling it to send it as an SMS text. Well, what's the point of having RCS then if you got to go and convert it over? Yes, this is a bit of a rant. This is why my mind is blown. Everybody's jumping on this, and you read the comments. You look through the comments. I'm doing it for entertainment purposes. Uh, okay, I'm just reading the comments, and 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 the conversation has its both dark side and 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 light side. But for a moment, I'm like getting wrapped up in it. Oh, wait a minute, <laughs> wait a minute. Uh, great, there is a, such an involvement. Okay, but I know that when I talk to my friends, the non techie phone person on the IT department for them. One thing they all default to is Facebook messages here in the United States. That's like number two-ish between the two platforms. It's always the, um, and I know for uh, some people, that's it. That's all they care to use. Somebody like me who's not on Facebook, then they're forced to use their whatever they have, you know, SMS or RCS. But Facebook Messenger is the default. Again, a, a, I will admit, I'm not crazy about it. I don't feel completely secure, but it's yet to ever fail me when I had it. And it's never fa yet to fail my wife and, and friends. You never hear anybody saying my message never went through on Facebook Messenger. People don't care about RCS. The general public would not care. Okay, because the, right now the, the thing is, I say that Android is in trouble here in the United States. 
we we Americans have United States people, uh, <laughs> United States people uh, have uh, a a fascination for uh, iMessage and iPhones, where the rest of the world, pretty much, if you look in the con and if you're watching this video, and you're probably you know if you're in from another you know watching from another country, Europe, Asia, uh, you know any other other country, WhatsApp is it. WhatsApp now many many people I get I gather after you know seeing the comments and talking I have a friend that I uh, sometimes talk to he's in Brazil and he makes mention he's a dual carrier he carries an iPhone and and an Android and the thing is with him is he does default to uh, a little bit of Telegram a lot of WhatsApp and RCS I think I'm the only one few people that he communicates using iMessage you know I, I'll leave a link to how screwed up this is here in the United States where uh to a video that that I did on uh, AT&T screwing around with RCS so their customers uh, have to use their protocol and where some people who might have an unlocked phone didn't really work RCS didn't uh, want to work I mean the damn you know this came out in 2015 2016 and we're still struggling with it we're still struggling. This is the one time I have to say that the wall garden theory needs to be applied to this RCS and get it to work flawlessly and leave the carriers out, kick them all out. This is the standard and this is the way it's going to be. Then if you get it to work and you get the carriers off your back, then you can go and do this. You can send a message. You can be all, haha, you know, hey, Apple, get on board. We're going to poke fun at you. If you don't agree with me, Start the comments down below. Uh, as always, my information, my Twitter handle. I'm on Snapchat once in a while, uh, and 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 also I want to promote too is uh, uh, you need a good phone service. I can't say enough. <laughs> Talk about Ryan Reynolds who owns Mint Mobile. Uh, Mint Mobile <laughs> is a really good service, and it helps me, and it can help you. Because I know there's promos going on. You might get a few free months. I might get a month, you know, get a dis, you know, discount for my renewal. So look at the links down below. All this stuff is going to be down there. Uh, I just want to leave you, leave you with that. I'm Mike Dixon. This is my channel. And uh, enjoy your day. Enjoy your tech. I'm out. Click.